Now, typically, whenever I title one of these videos AI artists, I'm always talking about the AI bros who are using Mid Journey or Stable Division or any of those other programs where all you do is generate a bunch of art and then you just kind of choose one and upload it and then you just kind of plash to the internet with a bunch of them. But today, I'm talking about something a little bit different of an AI artist. This is one that I mean, it's not like it's any better. I'm just going to preface that now. But this was just, it blew my mind. I was really confused when I first saw the headline for this. And then as I dug deeper into this, I was just baffled. And then I felt like artists were being mocked because this is just, I, I to me, it just feels very dystopian. It feels very depressing. It feels very bleak. And I... I don't even know where to begin with this. I'll just start with this part. So it starts with this headline right here that caught my attention. It said, so the buys will auction the first artwork made by humanoid robot AI da using AI algorithms. And I was like, hmm, what, what incarnation is this? What, 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 what is going on here? And so as I kept reading more, it became more intriguing because I was just like, what What could this even possibly mean? So it says, so the buyers will auction his first artwork made by a humanoid robot using artificial intelligence algorithms. Now, who knows what that really means? As we all know, AI bros, everybody in general, like say AI this, AI that, algorithms this, algorithms that, hard work this, hard work that. And a lot of it's just a bunch of, it's just a bunch of word jargon. It doesn't really lead to much. And so that's kind of what I think when I hear things like this, because it doesn't even go into detail really about the process, but we'll get to that later. It says on October 31st, the auction house will sell a.i.god portrait of Alan Turin by the humanoid robot artist Ida. It says the portrait of the mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turin was created using Ida's robot AI algorithms. Again, just who knows what that means in the grand scheme of things. It says UK based art dealer and gallery owner Ida Meller created the Ida humanoid robot depicted as a woman with a black bob and dressed in a t-shirt and denim overalls, which you would see right here. It says the robot draws and paints through a combination of cameras in its eyes, AI algorithms and a robotic arm. It says a 64 inch by 90 inch mixed media on canvas has an estimate of 120,000 to 180,000 with a third party guarantee. You're seeing that you have to sit there and scratch your head and be like, huh? <laughs> what? Who, who, who's going to buy this? But at the same time, I do understand to some extent this world and just that you get the right buyers for anything. And this is technically going to be, I can already tell it's one of those pieces that they're like, oh my God, fucking humanoid robot. It did this. It created one of the first pieces ever made. I need to get on that now. That's fucking history right there. That's going to go for millions. That's typically how I see shit like this. I feel like a lot of people are not even going to really entertain buying this for the fact of, oh my God, this is so fucking cool. Let me buy that because this is really neat. It's more like, hey, I, <laughs> maybe I can flip this for some cash in the future. That's really, I, I, I just don't see how anyone's going to buy it. But you know what? Let me stop talking about that and let me show you the actual piece. So here it is. AI God, the portrait by <laughs> Ada Robot. Uh, I mean, whatever you might think of it, it's up to you uh it's definitely something all right do i have strong opinions about it no i as i have sit there and stood by my opinion by all the times at the beginning and still even now at this point it's ai slop it always will be ai slop but i'll go more into my own reasons for that a little bit later after we explore what ada is and everything pertaining towards that but here you can see the description you can sit there and see all the information regarding this people going to buy it for this price of course they are it's going to happen no matter what do i think that this should even be a thing do i think that this should even be sold fuck no but does my opinion really matter no not really i'm just some random youtuber just you know expressing my opinion and that's literally it now at the beginning of this video i talked about how i kind of felt like the ada robot thing is just kind of i don't think that Here's my biggest issue that I see with something like this before I even get into the robot itself. Personally, for me, I don't feel like this is actually embracing the human creativity of art, and it's just more so making a mockery of it. It doesn't actually, like, when you look at this, it's going to be hard to sit there and view and be like, wow, man, they're they're doing art justice. They're, they're actually doing real creative justice. It feels like someone who doesn't make art, but can sit there and make robots and can put algorithms together and thinks that they're doing something great with art and they don't even care about the actual creative aspect of art, but just the fact that they can have a robot create something that could be considered, I guess, art, but not actually the real passion and what actually makes art art, which is the actual human soul behind it. Not this, but 
I'm getting ahead of myself. So going to the actual website of Ada, I found this very silly. <laughs> <laughs> great first impressions right you got this as your banner photo i hate websites by the way that do shit like this where they sit there and have some full-blown image that takes up your whole screen i think that's fucking awful but sit there you got this bullshit this fucking pixelated it's like someone didn't know how to take a proper photo or how they even have it set up correct how are you gonna have this website it's supposed to look sleek and clean but then you got this blurry ass pixelated photo blowing up up here that's fucking crazy do you like it how are these people like how am i supposed to sit there and take anything of value here if you can't even get something basic like that fucking correct you gotta fucking pick like this is 101 shit this is fucking beginner shit how do you fuck this up to be very simple to get a high quality photo right here but no you got the blurry ass shit but let's continue so here you can sit there and see they show all the different photos of ada uh ada with their artwork and here's where they get into the actual descriptions of Ada. It says the world's first ultra realistic humanoid robot artist. And of course, I already know a lot of people are gonna have very strong opinions about that term being used, artist. I, of course, no one's gonna really look at that and be like, yeah, that's an artist, no shot. But let's just go for the sake of what this is. Let's just read it and see what it says. It says Ada is the world's first ultra realistic artist robot. She is capable of drawing and painting using cameras in her eyes, AI algorithms and her robotic arm. She's a performance artist, a designer <laughs> and a poet. Whew! Since her creation in February 2019, Ada has captivated audiences with her unique blend of art, technology and transhumanism. Her debut solo exhibition, unsecured futures at the university of oxford invited viewers to reflect on our rapidly changing world now the one thing that i will always i, I have to really i have to call this out right like, i'm gonna just be real here the thing i always hate most about this is always trying to pose these creations um these tools because that's what it is ultimately right like yes it's a humanoid robot you can sit there and say that all you want but ultimately at the end of the day it has no sentience it has nothing of that caliber it is just a robot that is programmed to do said task but it is not an actual person it does not have its own thoughts it does not have its own mind I, trust me if there was ai sentience i would hear about it and i guarantee it would not be this person that has broke through with that it would be something like chat gpt or all them other people no shot this person has ai sentience and they're a humanoid robot no shot anyways the point is i hate that they try and pose this as if it's like a real person as if they're doing you know they're creating all this on their own when the reality is it's a puppet right like someone's behind the strings they got their hands on the robot and they're making it do shit and then they just have it follow algorithms to create things but the robot didn't actually think of it to create itself it's just following what it was programmed to do and that's ultimately what this is that's why i hate seeing things like she's a performance artist she's a designer she's a poet or she's a poet when in reality, she said, this is a robot created to do performances, to design things and uh, be a poet. And someone is actually, you know, the one that has programmed it to do those things. But this isn't an actual person. I, I don't know why we're at this point where it feels like they're trying to treat this as if it's an actual human or in this case, a humanoid that is, you know, behind all this. And they're making these thoughts and decisions on their own and that they're the ones who wanted to create these things when that's not the case. It says Ida's art has since gained international recognition with exhibitions across the globe. She has presented a prestigious venue such as the United Nations AI for Good Global Initiative, where she addressed the complex implications of emerging technologies. Her thought provoking discussions have also reached the House of Lords in Oxford Union. What in the fuck are we talking about? What do you mean she did it? It is fucking an algorithm. It's not a, It's not an actual person with a real thoughts behind it. You're making it sound like this is a, again, this is what I fucking hate. We're making it sound like this is some sentient person that is making these legitimate thoughts and discussions and arguments, but that is not the case. It's just an algorithm that is just predetermined to sit there and say words. That's all it is. It's so disgusting and it's hurtful to see things like this because this is not really what we should be pushing. This is not really the way to go. This is not the wave. This is not the uh, what the vibe. Like, I, I don't really know any other way to describe this other than it's really sad and dystopian at the idea that to sit there and read, especially this, her thought provoking discussions have also reached the House of Lords in Oxford Union. What in the fuck? What? no like it's just like sitting there saying that you had a discussion with chat gpt or you had a discussion with uh, uh all these fucking different ai services that are meant to talk to you and tell you this or tell you that and 
someone's gonna be like man they gave me some really thought-provoking discussions and you know it was sitting there saying you know all these things and they gave me his thoughts on the world and dog shut the fuck up it's an algorithm it's designed just to tell you shit that you want to hear it's designed to sit there and tell you whatever you input into it to go against or uh, either go against or go for whatever you're trying to argue or debate with it or you're trying to have a discussion with but it's not actually coming out with these thoughts on its own and having legit actual discussions that you could have as if you were having it with another human that is not what this is and it's oh my god it says ida's influence extends to major museums she had her first major museum show at the design museum and held a solo exhibition at the gia Gar uh dini's i'm sorry if i said that wrong during the vinnick bin dog I'm, I'm just gonna mess it all up <laughs> i'm not even gonna bother influenced by data and continuously pushing the boundaries of creativity call cap i call cap no artist in this fucking planet is going to tell you for a fact that AI is pushing the boundaries of creativity. There's no planet. There's no universe. Maybe you can sit there and say pushing the boundaries of creativity in terms of, I, I, I guess, what you can make a robot do. Sh sure. But as far as like actual creative jobs, like artists, designers, musicians, things of that caliber, no shot. I, I call cap it says ida challenges traditional notions of art and artists sparking vital conversations about the use and potential misuse of new technologies again it's not a real person Do, what do you mean ida challenges you mean the creator of this robot challenges the notions of tr uh, the traditional notions of art and artists and discussion has been had so many times and just because this time it's a robot doesn't change the standpoint of all artists around the world that ai slop is still ai slop and just because this is now technically a humanoid robot doesn't change the discussion at all. It's still going to be AI slop. It's still not done by actual human. Like it doesn't change anything besides the fact that I guess you can sit there and say from a technological point, this is neat. It's very interesting, but to sit there and just to sit there and start saying challenges, traditional notes, uh, notions of art and artists is very pretentious and it's very disgusting. A better way to sit there and what Ida should be doing, but again, it's not a real person that should be sitting there saying, how can it work together with actual human artists? That would be a better sentence to say than challenge the traditional notions of art and artists. It sounds like it's saying, hey, is it possible that maybe we're going to be better than them one day? Can we phase them out? Maybe our wave is the wave. Maybe we're going to be the future and they're going to be gone. Because that's essentially how it always comes across whenever it comes to AI bros and these discussions about art and artwork and AI art. It always just boils down to the same talk about, oh, you artists are just, you're just going to be uh, irrelevant in the future. You're just going to be fucking replaced by AI. This is the future here. You need to get on board now. That's always typically what the discussion always goes down to with those fucking AI bros. And it never, it's, it's not anything else. So, like that's the reason why a lot of people always have fucking issues with this shit and having a statement like that is fucking awful and so then they have this right here ida is it art it says the role and definition of art changes over time ida's work is art because it reflects the enormous integration of technology in today's society what in the fuck are you talking about hmm hmm maybe art by your definition by the whoever created this robot's definition but no one, there's no sane artist on this planet that's really going to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, that's fucking art. Yeah, that's the definition of art because it reflects the enormous integration of technology in today's society. That is not how art is defined. You're not going to find any legitimate artist who values the creativity of humans saying dog shit like that. That is fucking dystopian. That is fucking crazy to hear. It says Ida is a creative under the criteria set by Professor Margaret Bowden requiring works to be new, surprising and of cultural value. Doubt, doubt, but OK. Maybe they actually, maybe that is what they have set for it. I'm just going to call the cat police and be like, doubt. It says today, a dominant opinion is that art is created by humans for other humans. This has not always been the case. It says the ancient Greeks, the art and creativity came from the gods. Inspiration was divine inspiration. Today, a dominant mindset is that of humanism, where art is an entirely human affair stemming from human agency. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a loaded sentence. <laughs> Let's continue. It says, however, current thinking suggests that we are edging away from humanism into a time where machines and algorithms influence our behavior to a point where our agency isn't just our own. It is starting to get outsourced to the decisions and suggestions of algorithms and a complete human anatomy starts to look less robust. 
that is the worst fucking sentence I've heard all day. That is a vomit in an entire sentence. If there was ever a sentence that I can call word vomit, it is that. What you, I, I'm like left speechless at this because what this sentence is pretty much saying is that humans are being forced, artists are being forced to sit there and confine to the future of algorithms and machines and following all this other bullshit. Uh, like that's really what it is. It's not sitting there saying that things are moving that way because it wants to move that way. It's more like because we're being forced to. It's not because we want to, it's because we have no choice. We're being more or less forced to sit there and conform to this way where it's gonna be shoved down everyone's throats and there's not anything you could do about it. There's literally nothing. Like this whole entire fucking sentence is pretentious and it's hard to sit there and see anyone ever trying to have a positive discussion on trying to sit there and say, oh yeah, we're trying to work with artists. We're not trying to get rid of them. We're not trying to do any of that shit. When you make this whole bullshit and then you sit there and you talk about this shit at the end saying, however, current thinking suggests we are edging away from humanism into a time where machines and algorithms influence our behavior to a point where our agency isn't just our own. I, dog, that's being forced. It's not because people want to. It is literally something that people don't have a choice. They have to go with this because it's being shoved down everyone's throats. But anyone who actually respects artists and the value and the creativity behind art made by actual humans no, this is a load of shit and no one's ever on board with this and no one ever will be. It says Ida is a machine with a fusion of electronic AI human inputs and her artwork is a machine human collaboration. I can't wait to see AI bro start using this. They're going to use this out the fucking ass. They're going to use this term so much. Oh, my art, my AI art is a machine human collaboration. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, bro. Oh, all right. He says, helping us reflect on our own worlds, which are increasingly enmeshed with technology. Get ready for this next sentence. It says, Ida creates art because art no longer has to be restrained by the requirement of human agency alone. I, I have no comment for that. That just leaves me speechless. And then it finishes off by saying, inspired and in reference to Donna Haraway's cyborg, Ida represents a what if scenario to our advancements, helping us consider hypothetical futures and look towards a tomorrow where human and machines continue to merge and work together. What are the futures we want? Well, I can tell you for a fact, no human artist wants this at all. No shot, bro. This is sitting here talking about where humans and machines continue to merge and work together. This, this entire word vomit that I read, who knows, it was probably made by AI itself at this point, but this dog shit, mm -mm. None of that sounded like trying to work with artists at all. This doesn't sound like trying to work with humans at all. It sounds like the future they're aiming for is where robots replace humans and we don't think for ourselves, and they, we just follow algorithms and they tell us what to like. That's what this dog shit sound like and it's fucking awful. I cannot believe this whole rabbit hole that I went down earlier and I couldn't help but talk about it because this is crazy to me. Reading through this feels like someone who is out of touch and doesn't actually understand art, doesn't understand the creative space, and it just thinks that sitting there making a robot who is creating what they believe is art and that it, this is, oh, well, clearly it's drawing something so it's making art, is sitting there as something that can be legitimate and something that could be valued when in reality, at least in my opinion, there's no shot, there's no case, bro. Uh, this is just a machine. This is a humanoid, as they call it, a humanoid robot. But there is no one behind it. It has no sentience. It is being told what to do. And that's literally it. To try and pose this tool, because that's ultimately still what it is, a robot, a tool, to sit there and try and pose it as if it's an actual artist who is sitting there going around the world doing legitimate art exhibitions and actually selling their art on their own. They're having all these thoughts and it's all coming from themselves. And it's what they thought up. It's cap. It's bullshit. It is not real. It is someone that has programmed it to sit there and have a set of parameters to come up with these thoughts and opinions. Nothing else, nothing more. And it's very disgusting reading through this entire thing. And I couldn't help but talk about this because I like to bring awareness to bullshit like this. Anyways, you made this far into the video, so if you're gonna like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment what you think. Have a great day. Yeah.